So let's go ahead and do a little speed comparison between these two and see which one is the faster one between these. Now this is a tiny speed comparison. My full one is going to be coming out probably on my second channel, but I will tell you, it does seem like pretty much on all my devices, 14.4, which is on the right, is faster than 14.4.1, which is on the left. Let's do phone calls, 321. And not, I can't really tell that big of a difference there. App Store, 321. And it's kind of iffy, 14.4 was actually able to load the photo faster, but this one loaded some other assets a little bit faster though. Scrolling through, not really a big difference. You guys can pretty much see the same thing going on for all of them. Hopping out of there, let's go ahead and I guess do music, three, two, one. And wow, that was pretty close. This one again is loading that, so this one didn't have to load it, so I'm not really too sure what to make of that one. Now let's go and do a couple of these other apps. Facebook, three, two, one. About the same there, not a big difference. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Twitter, 321. And 14.4 was a little bit faster there. Snapchat, 321. And again, 14.4 was way faster there. That was pretty surprising. Netflix, 321. And 14.4.1 was a little bit faster there. Let's go ahead and end it off with Temple Run 2, 321. Now this is kind of a bigger game, so it'll give us more of an insight of which one is truly faster at the end of it. And it does seem like 14.4 may be the faster one here as well. Again, there's I don't know, I can't verify it yet. And it does look like 14.4 is the faster one here, which is great. I love seeing this kind of improvement. Funny enough, like I mentioned, for some reason 14.4 seemed to be faster than 14.4.1 on my other iPhones. So take it as you will, but I do think at the end of the day, 14.4 is a little bit slower on the 6S specifically than 14.4.1, but on the other iPhones it's been the opposite.